Hello my friend, how are you today? I am Protulia Zeta Jones and this is Mexican Allies on the sixth day of the Tresen Vulture. Today is Chicoase Sipactli, six crocodile. We are starting all over on this round of animals and, uh, and nature manifestations that is the 20 sign wheel uh, with the crocodile in almost the middle of this beautiful tresen that is one of the most wonderful tresens of the cycle. We have this system that is so perfect. Uh, you know what uh, makes the human beings uh, stay still for their whole lives and never advances. They are torn between, um, or they are stuck between what they want to do and the things they didn't do. They are stuck in between two things that they haven't done because there you never get stuck in the things you do it when you make some quesadillas you already made them and you're not even worried when you're eating them so the things we do never have any problem make any problem in our brains what makes us go like this and stay still is when we start thinking on the things that we wanted to do, the things we wish we could have done, and the things that we want to do and we wish we could do, but since we didn't do them in the past, it's probably that we won't do that, do them in the future. So it's a, it's an endless labyrinth, which is a great because this is the place where human beings love to be, stuck between two places. Especially if the two places are two places uh, with uh, good tacos. But uh, why are we stuck there? This is interesting. Uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about something that is really harsh. You know, why are you stuck there? Because she left you. She is gone. She's gone. She left this opportunity in life. You let her go. Because you were not paying attention. Because uh, you are so much into your world that you didn't realize that she was beautiful and the uh, great in every sense and everybody can see this except for you everybody saw that you had the chance of the lifetime and you were so busy being selfish and thinking about what you wanted to do and not what you had right there that you lost her we have a say about women in Mexico that says that Women are like keys. Nobody steals them from you. You lose them because you were not paying attention. Well, in Spanish, it's a little bit harder. We use harder words for this. Um, yeah, yeah, nobody, nadie te las roba, las pierdes por pensártela tanto. Pero bueno, the thing is, uh, now that she's gone, you, ha you are in a position of grieving and moaning. Sometimes people live, but sometimes people die. And the difference between someone just living and someone dying is a little bit, uh, well, it's huge in a sense because sometimes it's worse when people just leave. Because they give you a feeling that uh, some way, somewhere along the way, you're going to meet them again. Perhaps every two days you can see this person or this opportunity again in front of your eyes and you cannot ever move on. But the thing is, is she's gone. And uh, when this person is gone, or this opportunity, Perhaps it's harder, but when they die, you have to face this reality that you are never, ever 
ever going to see them again. You're never going to listen to their voice, touch their skin, look into their eyes, share anything with them, anything, and this void feeling inside you. In a way it's terrible, but in another sense it's pure gold. And this is what Cosca Quautli teaches us. And in this sense, a person who lost someone by death it's uh, more fortunate than a person who lost someone just by uh, distance. Breakup or just, I don't know, whatever. Um, moving from one place to the other, improving life, etc. The thing is when, when you have someone that died and you have this void inside of you, and Cosca, Cosca Quautli is what he does, is that you eat this raw and putrid matter. You eat it, you swallow it, you let it possess you inside and go through this digestion process and you turn it into life again. All the experiences that you had with this person, with this opportunity, with this moment of your life that is dead. You cannot relieve them again and you cannot make new ones. So the only thing that you can do is to mash the two, what could have done and what actually was, and put them together inside of you and make a third position or a th third uh, reality that is creation of a new thing that is so vivid, so beautiful, so wonderful that inspires everybody, including you, because you can fool everybody except for yourself. But if you, if you can fool yourself and you can wrap yourself inside this new kingdom where everything is just as you want it to be, as it should be. Well, this is transformation. The best example of this, if you ever talked, uh, if you ever heard about uh, Lord of the Rings, this author, he went through a whole lot of things. Nobody wants to know them, you know? Everybody wants to see the hobbits running around with dragons and this is what everybody wants and everybody is happy with this. Nobody cares about how the engine works as long as the car starts and takes you to the park, right? Or to the beach. Uh, but what he had to go through was so hard that he even invented a new language a whole new language with rules and all to understand and to process what happened to him and look at the result. Of course, he never ever lived in this world again. He, he moved into his own world, but what a world, huh? And uh, this is the thing. Today, um, Koska Kwautli and Tzipactli and Miklantekutli and Miktekasiwatl are teaching us how to take all this pain and this deception and this sense of never more, never more, and turn them into some wonderful, nurturing, beautiful thing that allows you to live and go on and move on and take everything that you have that of course is valuable and turn it into something even more valuable not for the rest but for you if it's a if it's a, a gold for you then it will be gold for everybody and nobody is going to come and steal it because it's going to be so much that it's going to overflow you and it's, it's going to 
go around and uh, splash everybody. Um, and that's it. I hope you had a, you have a wonderful day, and uh, think about all these things that are there, laying around, that belong to this other season that you cannot toss, because uh, they are so they mean so much to you, and give them this new sense, put them together in such a way that stop pulling you down and make you go up. You and all the people that you love the most and share these moments. There are, there's no rush to do it, but start today. See you next time and have something delicious to eat. I know I will. See you next time.